Bye, Bubba. I'll see you later, okay? Mom's gonna have a spiritual awakening, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to Israel, for real. Real time Israel. Not a joke. We're Israel virgins. First time, ever. <laughs> I'm Catherine Warnock. And I'm Chanchi Chibway. And, and we're, we're Warnock and Chibway. We all know that the Bible tells us that we as Christians, we should care about Israel, pray for Israel, but we frankly don't really know why. So as two clueless Christians, we're headed to Israel to experience the Holy Land for the very first time. And this is important because we cannot understand where we're going if we don't understand where we come from. Come on our adventure. It's gonna be fun, guys. Let's go! It's Morning. way too early in the bar day. Super early, very excited. My name is Chanchi Chibway. I am a, the senior, sorry, I just forgot my new title. <laughs> I'm a light worker, I've been so for almost four years. She's the deep thinker. I'm basically. She's the drill sergeant. I'm Catherine Warnock. I work at Lightworkers as well. And I'm pretty spastic. Yes. I'm like a spastic drill sergeant. Yes. We've known each other for I think close to three years. Yeah. Whoa. And we're going to Israel. We're going to Israel. There's a Christian media summit every year in Jerusalem hosted by the Israeli government. And they've invited us to get some millennial Christians to really come and experience the Holy Land. I feel like it's like going to Israel was almost like an unspoken dream. And it won't feel real until like, I think until we touch ground. We'll be gone for six days. Each flight is 18 hours long with a layover. Oh. And so we're going. <laughs> She's ready. So ready. Yeah. What's oh. Chunky doing? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. getting the chance of a lifetime, a very privileged opportunity that 99% of Christian Americans will never get. I've always thought about Israel as just an untouchable experience. To go to the most historically significant place in literally the entire world, in my opinion, I just, I, I'm gonna be blown away. I feel like really experiencing the physical reality of what Jesus went through will kind of ground me in a way that I, I just pray will carry me through the rest of my life. Like everything that happens has happened before. It's cyclic, even the Bible tells us that. And so I think in order for us to understand how to navigate, I think you have to know where you come from. I know for certain, I don't fully understand the power of the cross and what Christ did for us. I think I'm gonna, that it's gonna wreck me. At least that's what I hope. Okay, we're leaving Tel Aviv airport and we're headed for Jerusalem right now. And then we're gonna go on a walking tour of the old city. On our own, so pray for us. Yeah, <laughs> two coolest Americans. But I do know how to read maps. We're on our way to where? Jaffa Gate, the old city. Old city. You can see it over there. Wow. Blowing my mind. So we're entering the old city right now. And we were just saying how you don't feel like we're on tour. We feel almost like we're coming home a bit. It's a very weird spiritual feeling. You hit this force field of, oh, I'm home. Mm -hmm. Like this ancient part of me is home. And it's the, the it's like a huge dichotomy because you're seeing this almost like a set because it's old cobblestone that you would only imagine in a movie, but this is physically such a different space that my spirit feels it's returned. But here's a don't. Don't do what I did. So in my mind, I subconsciously was like, I'm about to go back in time and see literally Jesus's life unfold before me. I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna feel it, I'm gonna smell it, it's gonna be amazing. But it was so modern. I was disappointed. <laughs> I was like, how naive you were. But honestly, there's a whole day where I had to get over being hurt because I didn't go back in time. So we've just taken a stop for lunch in the old city. First official hummus. OMG. Israel's food is off the chain. Because and the bread, the bread, you don't feel bloated, you don't get headaches. No, nope. can't even yeah. compute how good this hummus was. This is no good. Review. Look at that. Look at that. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Where are we 
up. We're in the Christian quarter. We just turned off day fun little market. There's just so much colorful clothing and the vendors are all selling different things. Everyone's like calling at us, especially because we clearly do not look like we belong. You know, drums and instruments and tarps and jewelry and it was just, everything was just so decadent. To be in this city and see so many different cultures, so many different faiths and to just understand that there are thousands of years of history here is just blowing my mind. Just finished with the old city and we're gonna get to the Mount of Olives, which is amazing. It's gonna be so special. So the Mount of Olives where Jesus would go up to pray, it's honestly a little bit of a concrete jungle. We hired a car, a taxi, just to take us to the top. We were there for literally five minutes. Yeah. You think, you read about it in the New Testament, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go hang out on the Mount of Olives and pray where Jesus prayed, and then you're like, wah, wah. Can we go back down now? Parking lot. Yeah, great view. The view is amazing and worth it. That's pretty much it. We're gonna get to the Garden of Gethsemane. It's gonna be so good, it might be intense. Um, really looking forward to it. This has been on my bucket list forever, to walk where Jesus walked on his final night before being arrested. Mm. Yeah. crucified and I'm just getting rocked already. We're at the Garden of Gethsemane and it's beautiful. I don't know how well you can see it. I wish we had more access to just walk and touch the trees. I was so disappointed. I'm sorry, Jesus, don't hate me, but I was just so disappointed. I was like, I'm gonna walk where Jesus walks. I'm gonna touch these olive trees. I'm gonna weep where Jesus wept. And I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, do your research, Catherine, honestly. But instead, it looked like I was in some rich person's garden. It was all gated off. Like, very not to be Very mean. manicured. Very manicured and very off limits. We wanted to jump the fence. Yes, I wanted to go it. see let's this. Let's do it. But we also wanted to like represent our company well. <laughs> and what's actually kind of trippy is the the <laughs> trees themselves, and not knowing how old they are, but these olive trees they can be thousands of years old. So just imagining what's taking place here is nuts. You knew this isn't what it looked like when Jesus was there. So my dreams were squashed once again. <laughs> Does anyone out there know how to time travel? Let me know. Okay, we're heading to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So now we move into the church where Jesus actually dies. He's taken down from the cross and he's actually anointed on a slab that they have sitting in a room in the church. So we're inside right now and it's pretty extraordinary. It's amazing, it's stunning. The interesting thing is we could feel the power of what was happening here once we found out this is the slab in which they say Jesus was anointed, his body was. And the outpour of just prayer and honor and just people crying on it, kissing it, it was really beautiful and, and heartbreaking at the same time, but I had powerful. never experienced that level of honor and thankfulness in one location before in my life. It was palpable. And even now, I'm just kind of still internally shaking a little bit of just the level of faith and just reverence over that stone. It was yeah. just, yeah. even now I'm like, I, I'm trying to compute it. I can't. So Chanch, how do you feel about today? It is explosively impactful and Ooh. it's only just begun to process in my spirit. The culture here is just mind blowing. Everyone's so nice and just the heritage is so rich here. But to feel it so alive, so deep, Still in so many places, like it was wall to wall people. It was really hot in there, but the passion was like through the roof. People were freaking out and just worshiping Jesus and just like you feel the palpable faith. And it ushers in such a new thankfulness. People come wherever their prayer was, whatever their issue was, and that's something that all of us have and carry and yeah. burdens that like you know, we don't give away with that kind of abandon. Yeah. We can so easily forget what Christ did on the cross for us, but to really understand it and live life in that reverential fear, that reverential just astonishment and respect, and just to walk into that room and feel that level of awe and reverence, and just understanding of the price that Jesus paid blew my mind, because that we don't experience. No. I don't experience in America. So I'm gonna be chewing on that for a long time. Yeah.